one thing that um, I contemplate about, and it a little bit sometimes hurts me or bothers me, is um, I have two siblings who, by Western definition, are considered schizophrenia. They can um, hear voices and see things, beings. Uh-oh. <laughs> so what is the Esther difference? Esther must have that same label. <laughs> <laughs> so Western studies tries to suppress that by giving them medication so they would be numb. What is the difference? They are suffering from it while other who channel, they're, they're enjoying it, prospering from it. What is the difference between the two experiences? And how can I be a supportive, helpful of the journey they're going through? Well, there are a number of things that we want to say to you. First of all, you cannot be supportive of anything that you feel sad or bad about. Because you started out by saying that you feel very bad about something. And that means when you feel bad, you are not in concert with your inner being. So you're not utilizing any of your connection or wisdom from source to flow toward them. So you're not under the influence of source energy. So any thought you have about them contributes to what they don't want and you don't want for them rather than contributing to what they do want. And so, the simple answer, and it's so simple it's annoying to you, is that you want to find a way to do a daydream about them rather than a nightmare. And a practical person would say, yes, but I'm not making the nightmare up, I'm just facing reality. And we say, we know that, but you'd be better off not to think about them at all than to think about them in this way that contributes to the continuation of something that they do not want. So having said that, let's get right to the heart of what receiving is. So thoughts are in the air. Everyone is transmitting signals and you, whether you like it or not, are primarily a transmitting and receiving mechanism. You're mostly vibrational. You are vibration and out here on this leading edge, this vibration is manifested in the things that appear to be tangible. And so humans want to separate the tangible from the vibrational. There's this thing you do. Now let's talk about this. You're all really going to get this relative to this subject and lots of other subjects. So just hang in here with us for just a little bit. It sounds like in this conversation that we are discussing the subject of a life experience that has been given a label or a diagnosis. And so there's this practical sort of end result we haven't offered these blocks of thoughts to Esther before and so she's reaching for the words that most fit what we mean and so it's going to be a little slow going here just for a little bit but this subject is where you are all ready to go and so we are appreciative of this conversation let's leave this subject aside and take one that's easier to hear this concept so let's say that you're going to a party and the word party has a specific meaning to you and for you, it means music and dancing and maybe drinking and joke telling and having a really good time. So the word party has a practical formation. Party means this. It also means rendezvousing, not just with the practical people and games and music and alcohol and, 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 and. There's also a rendezvousing of energies, of vibrations, of source energy and human thought. There's a collaboration or a coming together of a lot more than what you are witnessing in the practical physical sense. Almost everyone only considers the practical stuff that they can see. In other words, when you think about party, you think about who's coming, what they're going to wear, what they're going to say, what they're going to drink, what music they're going to dance to, and you call that the party, when there is so much more to the party. 
there's the combination of the energies that you make together there's the combination of what's active in you and therefore what the law of attraction causes to be active in others who are sensitive to what's active in you there's the probability of which ones of you have come to the party in concert with your source energy how much influence of well-being is going to be at this party because of this non-physical energy that's being offered the point that we want to make here is that in every moment in time you could be approaching what you're observing through your physical senses in the very practical terms of the subject matter that's the right word that we wanted Esther to find of the subject matter or you could be approaching it from the vibrational combinings are you with us just a little bit most everybody just wants to approach things from subject matter so you just want to sift things into piles and give it labels without considering what the vibrational ramifications of it are and in the process you become a collective mass of consciousness that is living such mediocrity in comparison with what you could live because you're just using that little bit of your awareness by sorting things into these practical piles of tall and short and black and white and gay and straight and Republican and Democrat and all of these distinctions that you want to call life that are just so insignificant in the scheme of things so we want to sort these piles into just two piles in this moment under the influence of source or in this moment not under the influence of source and stop with the labeling of this or that or this or that or this or that because when you give something a label in response to what you've witnessed it doesn't take very much for you to pick out a trait in someone that you see maybe they're pretty little and make a little bit of fun about it before they start displaying that trait all over the place not because there was a biological or even a vibrational reason for it it just got enough emphasis by somebody that gave attention to it that the seed got generated and then it got perpetuated in an unnecessary way does this make sense to you what we want for you in your glorious humanness we want you to understand that there is that category way of looking at things there's that physical comparative way of looking at it or there's a vibrational way of looking at it and when you start just acknowledging that there is a vibrational way and that your inner being has already found it and then you pay attention to the way you feel until you are led by better and better feeling thoughts to the thoughts that feel really good to you when you think them you come into your own power and that's how you help someone if you're looking at something that somebody else has already decided is this there's a part of you that's agreeing that it is this and the reason that that feels bad to you is because your inner being is not agreeing that this is your inner being knows that there's a whole other reality over here that's been created by whatever that is and that's where your inner being is looking this is a deep subject it's at the heart of everything because what we're really asking of you is to try to see the world through the eyes of source and we will acknowledge with you friends that looking at the world through the eyes of source is not as satisfying as looking at the richness of the colors in this magnificent rug with your physical eyes and their ability to interpret vibration you do see things and with your ears you do hear things you smell things you taste things you touch things and so that reality is so compelling to you that you've become those practical observers of reality that's already been created and then you keep perpetuating even unwanted realities by your attention to the unwanted realities and there's no reason to do that except that you don't know that you could be approaching it in the practical human observant sense or you could be approaching it in the oh what's my inner beings take on this we almost got there we can feel that the question is still big and it is looming and maybe as the day is unfolding we'll fill that in with more detail but you get the basis of it the comparison that we're wanting to strike here is that there is a reality that has a lot of 
practical components that are compelling to you and there's a momentum that makes it feel compelling to you so as a part of the human species most of you are perfectly willing to follow those threads of thought even though you don't like where they lead you just sort of accept it as that's the way it's got to be and what we're wanting you to ask yourself as you're moving through the details of your own life is this really how it has to be or is there another reality that has been born out of this that source energy is focused upon that future generations will live that we could live here and now if we just knew we had that power of that non-resistant thought